Gospel is in the name of the Lord, who made who heaven made and heaven earth. earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now pray together the prayer before Holy Mass. My dear God and loving Father, as I participate in this Holy Mass, may Jesus fill me with his holy grace when I open my heart to him in sincere prayer. May the sacraments I will receive, the prayers that I will say, and the hymns that I will sing bring me closer to Jesus and help me to be more like him in all that I say and do. May the Holy Communion that I will receive give me strength so that I may share faith, hope, and love with the people I will meet. Amen. Let us now join together in our opening hymn that Easter day.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will, we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now confess our sins to God and prepare ourselves that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. As we gather together on this second Sunday of Easter, as there is still an alleluia in our hearts, in our lives, that Christ has conquered death, has risen from the grave, let us now confess those places where we have separated ourselves from Almighty God. Please now make an examination of your conscience and confess your sins to God. Let us now awaken in our hearts a deep sense of sorrow for the sins we've committed. With confidence in the love and mercy of God, let us confess our sins as we recite together the second form of the Confidior. I confess to Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, or failed to do, I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My brothers and sisters, as an act of penance for our confession this day, I ask that you continue in this Easter season to have an alleluia in your hearts and your lives, and that you share that message with others that Christ is risen from the grave. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I waited, waited for the Lord, who bent down and heard my cry, drew me out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud of the swamp, set my feet upon rock, steadied my Alleluia. And put a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look up and say, the Lord. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it shall be shown. Amen.
let us pray. Heavenly Father, you redeemed us through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Grant that we may benefit from the graces merited by our Savior. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated and be attentive to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and the great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, 
Everyone who believes that Jesus Christ is begotten by God and everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victor that conquers the world is our faith who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent you, sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nail in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, 
Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Once 
again, they're still locked away, still maybe a little bit fearful. Jesus comes again in their midst, and again, he gives them that same peace, fulfillment, contentment in the presence of Christ. Showed them the wounds in his hand. He showed them the wound in his side. Do not persist in your unbelief, but believe. Now, my brothers and sisters, I think it actually is unfortunate in one way. I'm sure maybe you've seen pictures of that event. There's a really famous one. I think it's by Caravaggio, the famous one. And he's putting his finger in Jesus' wound. And so we get the idea that that actually happened, but Scripture does not say that. Jesus offers, but it says that he applied to him. It doesn't say he put his finger in his wound. It doesn't say he put his hand in his side. It says that at those words, he applied to Jesus the strongest confession of Christ in the Gospel of John, my Lord and my God, he says to Jesus, the strongest confession. So the one that was doubting Thomas has now become confessing Thomas.
continue to work together as the body of Christ in the world today. Let us be like Thomas. Let us be his twin so we can say, Jesus, you are my Lord and my God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. And for our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. O eternal one, you have anointed Jesus of Nazareth and raised him from the death on the cross into resurrection life. Feed us with his life as we eat and drink with him in this Easter Eucharist. May we too be Jesus' witnesses, pointing him out to others by sharing in his work of reconciliation and peace. O gracious one, breathe your Holy Spirit upon your church that we may be of one heart and soul and live together in unity. We pray to the Lord, Alleluia. Lord, hear our prayer, Alleluia. O Christ, be present to all Christians throughout the world who huddle for fear of their lives behind closed and locked doors simply because they acknowledge to the world that you are God's Messiah, died and risen. We pray to the Lord. We hear our prayer. Alleluia. Let this cathedral parish community walk in your light so that we may do our work of reconciliation for the expansion of your kingdom on earth. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. Lord, hear our prayer. Alleluia. Hear the cries of all who grieve and of all who suffer anguish, illness, or hurt, especially Dorothy Andrzejewski, Dennis Maloney, Marie Gorgo, Shirley Golombeski, Ron DeLuca, Peyton Buckley, and Bishop Paul Subyhusky. Grant them the Spirit's gift of patient hope. We pray to the Lord, Alleluia. Lord, hear our prayer, Alleluia. Receive into your eternal life all who have died, that they may have life in Christ's name. We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. Lord, hear our prayer. Alleluia. For our personal cares and needs, which we now offer in silence.
We pray to the Lord. Alleluia. Lord, hear our prayer. Alleluia. Fill your people with the breath of your Holy Spirit, O God, and bring us the assurance of our forgiveness that we may share in Christ's eternal life, here now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I have made vows to you, God. With offerings, I will fulfill them. Once you have snatched me from death, kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Alleluia. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for all the good of that of His holy church. Amen. Lord our God, accept the offerings of your rejoicing church, which you have enlivened this day, and grant us the gift of perpetual gladness. For you have given us cause for great joy. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Especially this time when he became our paschal sacrifice, he is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. Through his death he conquered death for us, and by his wondrous resurrection, he restored eternal life to us. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. and sisters, we continue Holy Mass now with Eucharistic prayer number four, beginning on page 88. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him your word was made flesh. In him the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us. He broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked the new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross, and by rising restored our life. On that night in which he was betrayed to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands and lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your return in glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, 
his glorious resurrection and his exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth this sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life. Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you. So that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, with your, holy, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, with all those who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Grant also, Lord, a share in that glory to the departed and those whom we remember before you. Deal with them and with all people according to your merciful kindness and let perpetual light shine upon them. Remember also your servants on earth for whom we invoke your mercy, especially this day, all the members of St. Stanislaus Cathedral Parish, all Polish National Catholics, all those who continue in celebration of the joy of Easter. Bless your church throughout the world. Grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread, which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because, because there is one bread. We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
My brothers and sisters, let us now pray together the first communion prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Bring me to everlasting life. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord.
Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, to you belong the keys of life and death by the will of the Father. Preserve us through these holy mysteries that our redemption may be assured and our doubts relieved. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Peace be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, let us now pray together the prayer after Holy Mass. I am grateful to you, Lord, that I was able to come to church and participate in the Holy Sacrifice of Mass. I thank you for receiving your gracious pardon, your instruction and teaching through your word, and your body and blood in Holy Communion. May your sacraments continue to strengthen and help me to be faithful to you and your church. Help me to face all the challenges of life on my journey to your heavenly kingdom. Amen. And now, my brothers and sisters, let us now join together in an alleluia to our community in singing our closing hymn, Jesus Christ, our Lord, has arisen. <laughs>